Welcome to the Enterprise Architecture module. And now we are in the basic part of the module. You know that Enterprise Architecture module has three big parts. Enterprise Architecture Introductory, Enterprise Architecture Basic and Enterprise Architecture Advanced. You are supposed to have taken already the Enterprise Architecture Introductory. So now we can proceed with the basic level of Enterprise Architecture module. Uh, the purpose of this basic level is to provide knowledge on the most popular Enterprise Architecture frameworks. We have mentioned them already in the introductory part, but now we will try to learn more about these frameworks. Also, there is a purpose to provide knowledge on how enterprise architecture supports sustainability of business architecture, in a sense that business has a particular way how it is run, and enterprise architecture can help to sustain it, and also how enterprise architecture helps to achieve alignment between business processes and information technology. One more thing is getting skills in use of enterprise architecture description language. And this description language will be supported also by the enterprise architecture modeling tool. And now I want to tell you how this basic model is organized. Uh, we have three parts in this model, module, and uh, the first two parts are pretty short, and uh, each of these parts ends up with, a, some, with some questions which you have to answer, but the answering of these questions will not take a big amount of time. However, the, the third part will be more time consuming and we estimate that it might take around two hours for you. And in this part, we already will take one tool in which we will try to represent the enterprise architecture. Uh, the slides and uh, the video record for this part will go all the time but you by yourself can uh, scroll it back and forth as you need. Uh, during the video, I will suggest some places where to stop and do the job, but uh, if you wish to do differently, it is up to you. Before we continue, I will just remind you about basic abbreviations used in the Enterprise Architecture module. It is EA Enterprise Architecture, it's EAF Enterprise Architecture Framework, and it is ADM architecture development method. And now let us proceed to the first part of the Enterprise Architecture Basic. Already in the introductory level, we learned about several enterprise architecture frameworks, and namely they are Zachman Enterprise Architecture Framework, Dogov, Dodov, and EAF. Now the question is, what is common and what is different with these enterprise architecture frameworks? And we will try to discuss it on a simple example of our data structure or information object structure, which we discussed in the introductory part. So here in the middle, you can see some data. And let us try to see how this data is represented in different types of enterprise architecture frameworks. So, for example, in, uh, in the Zachman's architecture, we would find this model here in this block. Uh, with respect to the Togaf architecture, we would try to find it somewhere here indirectly, but it's somewhere there. For um, FEAF architecture, it will, there will, you can see that there is specific line data architecture. And when we think about DODAF, then also there is a place for data elements here. So we can see that artifacts in different enterprise architecture frameworks might be similar, but the placement of the architecture elements or architecture artifacts, they may be different. So similar artifacts, different structuring. And now let us consider a bit more deeply those four enterprise architecture frameworks. The first one for us is Zachman Enterprise Architecture Framework. You can see here that we are considering version 3 of Zachman Enterprise Framework, which was released in 2008. 
And uh, this specific uh, um, uh, release has also its architecture development method, uh, which is called Quick Guide, and you can access it in this link, which is provided here. So what we can see here? We can see that there are different classes of artifacts, which are classified by well-known questions like what, how, where, who, when, and why. And we can see that this, for example, at the enterprise level, this can be inventory sets, process flows, distribution networks, responsibility assignments, timing cycles, motivation intentions. So if we would like to see where we put our business entities or, or information units, so it will go there with what? If we are thinking where to put the process descriptions, of course, here where there are process flows. And uh, in, in the architecture, these our entities will be business entities, and uh, the processes will be called business transformations. With respect to Zachman Enterprise Architecture Framework, we can see here also different perspectives which uh, correspond to most um, common roles in the enterprise. So we can see here that there is executive perspective, there is business management perspective, architect perspective, engineer perspective, technician perspective, and the enterprise perspective as a whole. And for each of these perspectives, there are specific model names which are most characteristic to these uh, perspectives, like scope context for uh, executive perspective, uh, system logic for architect perspective, uh, tool components for technical technician perspective. Let us now consider how our artifacts are placed with respect to these perspectives. So our business process model will be placed in a business management perspective. Our data model also will be put in this perspective. So again, we can see that there is a place for enterprise architecture artifacts in the Zachman Enterprise Architecture Framework for those which we have developed for those artifacts. Now another enterprise architecture framework, which is called the Open Group Architecture Framework. Uh, the release of the latest version is 2011, and it has its uh, own architecture development method, which is pretty popular, and where you can get certification for this method even now. So here we can see how this architecture framework looks like. So this is, this is like a upper level structure of this architecture. But this yellow picture on the left, this is enterprise architecture development method, which describes how the enterprise architecture is created. So in the center, there are requirements, and then there are um, the way how the architecture becomes into existence. So we start with preliminary works, and comes architecture vision, then goes business architecture, information systems architecture, uh, technology architecture, operations, and solutions and so on. And again, when we want some changes, we can start uh, this new version of enterprise architecture. Let us try to put our artifacts in this architecture enterprise, enterprise architecture framework. So for process models, there is a specific place where we can put our process models. Here we can see um, that uh, we probably somewhere there put our uh, data model, but this is somehow that there is no clearly stated place for it. So it is somewhere in the process, uh, process context, but not exactly at the upper level. So it means that the data model will be somewhere deeper in the architecture framework. Next enterprise architecture framework which we are going to discuss is DODAF, the Department of Defense architecture framework. The latest release of this framework has come out in 2010 and it has a um, six-step process as an architecture development method. This architecture has um, activity resources, capability, desired effect, measure type and some other concepts as a basic constituents of upper level of an architecture. It also has logical level of architecture, physical specifications, and it has international defense enterprise architecture, which is called IDEAS. So 
high level data constructs are in conceptual level. Technical information and attributes are in a logical level. And uh, data types and implementation attributes are in physical exchange specification level. Dotov, Dotov has several viewpoints. And by viewpoint, we understand here a combination of enterprise architecture products that provide, for example, broad summary information about the whole enterprise, or it can be narrowly focused information for specific purpose, and uh, or, or information that is needed for specific aspect of an enterprise. And there are some predefined viewpoints in DODAF, and these are capability viewpoint, data and information viewpoint, operational viewpoint, project viewpoint, and services viewpoint. And you can see that there are some substructures to some of these viewpoints, like conceptual model, logical data model, physical data model uh, for the data and information viewpoint. And uh, the fourth and the last enterprise architecture framework, which we are discussing here, it is THEAF. Uh, THEAF stays for Federal Enterprise Architecture Framework. Latest release for this framework uh, has come out in 2013. And um, it has a common approach for enterprise architecture, which shows some guidelines according to FEAF this Federal Enterprise Architecture Framework. This um, enterprise architecture is represented by a reference models and it has performance reference model, business reference model, data reference model, application reference model, infrastructure reference model. And uh, these reference models just uh, show what kind of information is represented in each of these models. So there are pre predefined things which have to be in there. One more interesting thing is that this architecture is also supported by security reference model, which crosses all other models. Of course, these four enterprise architecture frameworks are not the only ones. There are many other enterprise architecture frameworks. For example, Gartner enterprise architecture framework. There is Modaf, which is popular in the United Kingdom. Um, so, if you want to learn about these different frameworks, you can go to the survey of 60 enterprise architecture frameworks, which is available on the internet. Uh, this is the end of the first part of Enterprise Architecture Basic. You are welcome now to take the quiz. And when you are done with this, then you can proceed to the next video clip, which is about second part of the Enterprise Architecture Basic.